Hi guys, I know it seems like I, I talk to you a lot from the car these days. I'm just uh, in between a few things here at the studio, but I wanted to hop on um, to share with you something that happened this morning. Uh, and I wanna speak to you not so much as a journalist, but more so as an Iranian or someone who's witnessing the current movement in Iran. This morning, Reza Pahlavi, the exiled prince of Iran, who's the son of the former Shah, uh, gave a speech. And of course, I know as this revolution is underway, um, it's going on for over a month now, a lot of people ask who are the, vul the viable alternatives uh, for the future of Iran. And of course, both inside and outside Iran, a large uh, portion of the people are chanting for and supporting Reza Pahlavi, who in many ways they see as the natural leader for the future of Iran. And although uh, Reza Pahlavi has come out tremendously over the last 43 years, and especially right now during this movement, he's been a, a, a true symbolic leader for the Iranian people. Today, uh, he said something that shocked a lot of people. He said he believes that the future government and leadership in Iran should come from the Iranian people, the same freedom fighters who are on the street right now. And Although he said he's more than willing to offer guidance and help and his experience, he will not be the face of it or, or the leader. And I know this upsets a lot of his supporters, both inside and outside Iran, but to me, it was such an incredible demonstration of love for his country and really a lesson to all of us. For those of you who know uh, your Bible story as well, it kind of reminded me of the story of Solomon and the two ladies who go to him and they take a baby to him and they say, we're fighting over who the mother of this baby is and you need to decide for us who this baby belongs to. And Solomon says, okay, I'll cut the baby in half. And the one mom begins, begins to scream, no, 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 she can have the baby. And then he says, ah, so I know who the true mother of this baby is because you love him so much, you're willing to give him up. Uh, and I've been saying this for a while now, but it really hit home today with Reza Pahlavi's statement. The people of Iran have a pure grassroots movement. They're united in one message and one goal, and that is freedom. And it isn't tied to any political group or any leader or any faith. It doesn't belong to any religious or cultural or ethnic group. And anyone who's trying to tell you otherwise is trying to hijack the movement. And let me tell you, there are a lot of people trying to hijack the movement, especially those in DC who are trying to steer this movement to benefit them and their agendas. Imagine after 43 years, people are trying to say, I want to, I want a free Iran, but only if this group takes over, only if this leader is at the helm. That's not a person who loves Iran. And more than anything, it's a betrayal to the young women and men who are out there very clearly telling us what they're fighting for. So I beg of you, help keep this movement pure, exactly as Reza Pahlavi said today. It's their movement and the future belongs to those kids. The next leader will not be imported and the movement won't be hijacked. And for the sake of the Iranian people and their bravery, their courage, the way that they're risking their lives, uh, this is a movement of the people for the people of Iran.